This is my immersion cooling setup. Just got the pumps and everything primed and working today. Right now we've I've got it all circulating just to test it. The tanks at 80 to, or 76, 78 somewhere in there. And my water temperature is about 74 coming in. It's not really doing anything right now. There's not any heat in it. But just got this all hooked up. Here's where my well pump comes in. It's kind of ghetto. It's just a 120 volt, um, like three or 400 watt pump, and a switch to turn off the both pumps at the same time. So the switch is mounted here. All these network cables are going through here. That's all the uh, wiring for the uh, miners. Tank's full of fluid right now. You can see it. Got this pump on low. I'll turn it up on high. You can sort of see it rolling the fluid through the tank. <clears throat> There's a piece of one inch pipe down there that's got holes drilled on either side of it all the way down for one hole for each miner. And there's a suction and a return there. And all the electrical is going to come through here. I've got a 400 amp three phase 208 setup that I put in here. Basically, that's just big ass container for this little box. Right now, I just got my water discharging outside and draining here right next to the pond. The well's down over there. It's only about 15 foot deep, so it's basically just recycling pond water. Um, so, not really contaminating any groundwater or anything. I've got a little filter over here. This is where the water comes in. This is the coolant I'm using. It was like 45 or $50 a gallon or something delivered. So it was pretty expensive for a, a full barrel. But uh, this tank will hold a little over 100 gallons. And uh, it can hold 36 uh, dragons in it and or s9s or whatever and I've got a uh, I've got 12 so I'm only gonna fill it up a little less than halfway but I'm gonna get this thing going here in the next few days it'll be pretty cool it's a tank my buddy built for me